My name is Bob Morton. I'm the founder and president of Kiltech Logistics, the nation's first and only customer support center for the human disposal industry. Being from the Pacific Northwest, we have a long, proud tradition of producing some of the most prolific serial killers in our nation's history, such as Ted Bundy, the Green River Killer, and so on. I guess you could say there's just something special about this place. And when you have something special in your backyard, why not share it with the rest of the world? We started out small. Originally, it was just me and a telephone in the basement of a Korean barbecue restaurant. Trying to find startup capital for a venture of this kind was almost impossible. Half the banks in town thought I was joking, the others called the police. But I knew I had something. I just had to go for it. In the mid-1990s, we started to see a disturbing trend in violent crime, as you can see here. Violent crime, specifically homicide, began to drop dramatically. In this, I saw a tremendous opportunity for growth. You know how they say sometimes people just need a helping hand? Maybe these folks just need a helping hand too. One of our early challenges was market research. In order to assist your client effectively, you need to understand the challenges and obstacles that affect their productivity. Luckily, much of that research was already done for us. This, more than anything, gave us the tools to help our clients avoid the usual pitfalls. You'd be surprised at how many people enter the field with little or no preparation. Granted, most of our clients are spontaneously triggered by the scars of childhood trauma, but that's no reason not to bring an umbrella. This line of work has a very high turnover rate. The heat is really on our clients to stay relevant in an evolving marketplace. Sometimes the pressure gets to them. It's up to our staff to get to the root of the problem and offer solutions. Thank you for holding. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? Sir, is there something I can help you with? You can help me understand why I pay you people good money for this kind of shitty service. I've been on hold for a f***ing hour. Sir, we are currently experiencing a large call volume, but I assure you that you're a valued customer. Don't give me that bullshit. Sir, if you don't calm down and tell me how I can help you, I'll be forced to terminate this call. I apologize. It's not your fault, you're just doing your job. What can we help you with? It's this f***ing gang war. Every day in the papers. It's all anyone can talk about. How am I supposed to compete with that? I see. You feel you're not getting adequate media exposure? Adequate? It's a f***ing blackout. But if some 13-year-old with an Uzi shoots sideways into a food court, it's the New York Times front page. I understand how that could be frustrating. Now I'm looking at your account, and I think I might have a solution. Like what? First, I think you could benefit from having a signature move. Signature move? Like in wrestling. You watch wrestling? It's too violent. Well, every wrestler has a special move that they use to defeat their opponent. It's what makes them stand out. Okay. Tell me more. Well, dismemberment's pretty high profile. Yeah, I tend to work at home and the drainage situation here is... You could just remove a single body part, like a hand or a foot. Yeah, I like the idea of a memento, but then it's like I have all these feet lying around and... Genital mutilation? That's just gross. What about teeth? You could remove the victim's two front teeth. Hmm. Easy to store, fairly bizarre. It's bound to get you some press. I like that. I like that a lot. That's what we're here for. Making a commitment to this field means taking risks. Many of our clients have the knowledge. They have the passion. They just need that little extra push to get them out of the gate. Well, they call me the Sarge. I guess I can be a bit prickly. But sometimes, our clients can use the attention. Sarge here. What can I do you for? I... I... Spit it out, son. My coffee's getting cold. I don't think I can go through with this. Sure you can. You just have to stop being a little and do it. I can't. Well, you better. You got somebody there now, don't you? Uh, yes. Well, that's a felony kidnapping right there, son. Now, unless you want to spend the rest of your life getting butt for a dime bag in San Quentin, you better frag that mother and frag him quick. What do you got there? A knife? A gun? A knife. All right. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to raise it up. 
You got it up? Uh, yeah. Good. Now, slam it down. Slam it down? Slam it down. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Finish him. Yeah! Oh, you <laughs> You didn't slam it down, did you? Not really. Let's start this again. Raise the knife back up. Oh. Now, I want you to think back to when you were in school. Okay. Were the boys nice to you? No. They were mean, weren't they? Yes. They used to call you Gaylord and stick things up your butt, didn't they? I hate them! And what did you want to do to them? Kill them! Let's just talk about this, bro. Well, now's your chance. Go for it! I kill you! <laughs> I don't even know your name, man. I kill you all! Do it, Gaylord! Yeah! Oh, <coughs> our customers mean everything to us. So as a token of our appreciation, we've recently introduced the Platinum Member Reward Points Plan. That gives some of our more valued customers even more options. How can I be of assistance to you, Mr. Ramirez? I'm a real f***ing I gotta use some points. No problem. And what option would you be needing? The emergency recovery option, pronto. The emergency recovery option does run 55,000 points. That will leave you with a balance of just 1,200. Are you sure you want to use that many points? I'm gonna break my foot up in your ass, mother Yep, I need all of them. Okay, Mr. Ramirez. You're all set. Please stay on the line until our agent arrives. Hurry the f up, please! You're serious? Flamethrower? The f did you get that? You know, they say that if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. I haven't worked a single day in the past five years. I'm a people person. I love meeting new people, getting to know them, and helping them if I can. It's really what Kill Tech is about. People helping people to kill other people. <laughs>